Oh, I don't want to be here. Hey, kid, what color's your blood? Ah, what happened to your eyes? I tattooed my eyeballs with my pencil. All I see is darkness. Uh, you want to try? No. Suit yourself. Ah. I want to start a fire. I don't regret the people I killed. Give me your eyelids. No. I said give me your eyelids. No way. <laughs> all right, all right. Settle down, you freaks. Welcome to Be Good School, where I teach you how to be good. All right, you are all menaces to society. The world would honestly be a better place if you did not exist. So I'm gonna try to fix you. Now there are three main rules on how to be good. The first rule is manners. Now that includes things like saying please and thank you, and according to my wife, not pissing on the toilet seat. But I do it anyway. It's not my fault you have to pee sitting down, just pee standing up like a man. Anyway, who wants to give me an example of manners? Can I please start a fire? Well, no, you can't start a fire, but you did say please, and I like that. That's one step in the right direction, and then five steps in the wrong direction because you asked to commit arson. Okay, look, I'll give you a real-life example of manners, okay? Let's say you're at a restaurant, and you order some chicken strips and a side of ranch. And so the waiter comes, and he brings the chicken strips, but he forgets the ranch. And you say, excuse me, I think you've forgotten my ranch. And he says, oh, right, I'll be right on that. And then I don't see him for 15 minutes. And then he comes back and he says, can I get you anything? And I say, well, I really would like my ranch. And then he says, oh, right, of course, the ranch. And then he disappears for 30 goddamn minutes and then has the balls to come back and say, hey, can I get you the check? And I say, what you can get me is my fucking ranch. And he says, well, you can't talk to me that way. And I say, I can talk to you any way I want. Let me see your manager. And then he says, I am the manager. And I say, well, that's funny because your name tag says waiter, so go get me the manager. So then the manager comes over and says, is there anything wrong here? And I say, yeah, look at my dry chicken strips. I want some ranch. You're gonna copy this entire meal for free or I'm gonna put one of my ball hairs in the food and say that you did it and I'm gonna get this entire restaurant shut down. And then the manager says, oh, I'm so sorry, sir. I'm gonna comp you your entire meal. All your food is free today. And then I say, thank you. See, that's manners. I said thank you. So did anybody learn anything? Um, I learned not to forget your ranch. Yes, yes, you don't forget the ranch. That's exactly right. I mean, chicken strips without ranch, it's like a car without tires. What are you even going to do with it? Yes, exactly. You're going to make an excellent waiter someday if Applebee's ever starts hiring felons. Okay, now the second one is helping people. You gotta help people. It's just the nice thing to do, okay? Now I'll give you an example. What do you do if you're driving down the street and you see a girl whose car is broken down on the side of the road? You stuff her in the trunk? No, you don't do that. You set her car on fire? No, what is it with you and fire? What kind of car is it? Why does that even matter? Maybe I can steal it, I don't know. Wait, you can't steal it because it's broken down and you shouldn't even want to anyway because that's wrong. Come on, think, people. Do you cut off her face and wear it? I don't think it's that one. It's definitely fire. No, 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 no. All of you are stupid. Does anyone have an actual good answer? Um pick her up and take her on a date to Applebee's? But ew, no, not Applebee's. Were you even listening to anything I was saying? No, she'd be better off just on the side of the road. She'd be just as hungry. You know, she'd just have to wait 30 minutes to get her chicken tenders and ranch anyway. No, 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 no. Look, I'll give you a real life example of helping people. So my grandfather was incredibly rich. I mean, he was a millionaire, just filthy rich. And so he was in the hospital and I was visiting him every day, you know, to make sure I got a piece of that. And then I see that he's on life support. He's being kept alive by a machine. Now, I'm thinking, what kind of life is that? That's no way to live, being kept alive by a machine. But he seems happy. He says, when I get this heart transplant tomorrow, I'm going to feel so much better. I can't wait to get out of the hospital. And I hear, I can't wait to get out of the hospital. So I'm thinking, I'm going to do the right thing, and I'm going to help him, and I'm going to I'm going to end his suffering and pull the plug. So I do, and he flatlines, and all the nurses come running into the room, and I just say that I tripped on the power cord, and they believe me. And then, come to find out, what did he leave me in his will? A sofa! Can you believe that? I killed my, I, I mean, I helped my grandfather go to heaven. Or hell, probably, if all he left me was a sofa. Hey, you know what, kid? Ask your dad if my grandfather's in hell. Okay. Thank you. See? There you go. He's helping me by asking if my grandfather's in hell. All right, so we've covered two already. Manners and helping people. We just have one more left to cover. Now, does anyone want to guess what that is? Starting fire. Eating people's faces. Grand Theft Auto. Total annihilation. Picking your nose and eating it. No to all of that, because most of those were crimes in the third third one is don't do crimes, okay? Now, crimes is stuff like killing people, stealing things. Yes, setting things on fire is a crime. 
And what I did to my grandfather was a crime. And so is what I will do to you if you tell anyone you heard that. All right, so now we're gonna have a test that will make you have to use all three of the be good rules, okay? And you have to pass this test to not go to jail. But first, I'm gonna have a lunch break and eat my very big foot long imaginary sandwich. I just hope it's not too big. Um. <laughs> Oh, he's choking! We have to do something! Richard set him on fire while he's choking. We should eat his face and we choke too. Let's just watch. Does he have a wallet? I'm coming to help you! <laughs> <coughs> oh, Jeffy, you saved me! Thank you! You're welcome! See, class? That was it. That was the test. Jeffy passed because he did all three of the be good rules. He helped me when I needed it. I said thank you, and he said you're welcome, so that's manners. And he didn't commit any crimes like the rest of you did by not helping me because that was the crime of criminal negligence. So Jeffy is the only one who's not going to jail. Aww, what was that? So how do you think Jeffy's Be Good School is going? I think it's going to be bad. You know, because it's called Be Good, so he's going to be bad. Be bad. Yes, like, Marvin. Be bad, like Marvin. Hey, hey, guess what? I passed. You passed? Sure did. Yep, he saved my imaginary life. You know, most students don't save my life whenever I choke on the imaginary sandwich, but your son did, so he passed. He learned how to be good. He learned his manners. He learned that he should help people. He learned not to do crimes, and he learned that he should get me my ranch at Applebee's. So does that make up for the Hawaiian punch? Mmm, I forgot about that before now. All right, listen, kid, you better hope I never have to see you again.